What up everybody, Mark Galloway here. And first of all, before we begin this vlog, I want to thank you guys so much for getting this channel to 300 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And this channel is slowly making progress and um, videos are improving. And um, I just cannot thank you guys enough. If it wasn't for your support, if it wasn't for your love, and even if, even though I don't get as much comments, but as, but um, if it was really though, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have keep going. So thank you guys so much. 300 subscribers. Let's keep going. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. Not very soon, but you know, let's just keep it growing, right? So today we are going to um, Anthony. Um, for those of you who remember who Anthony is, he is one of my cousins. Um, he's throwing his barbecue today. And uh, me and Sarah are going to be attending his party. I do not know how many people are going. We might not have a lot, but there might be a, still be a good amount. My parents are up in uh, Cape Cod right now. Haven't been to Cape Cod in quite some time. But um, I, I have to try to make as much time for that whenever I can. But because I'm planning to cut back on Monster Truck shows in 2023... So I can like, you know, not only get into the industry, but also focus on myself and my family and stuff. Uh, I should be able to hopefully go, well, hopefully I'll try to go this year, at least for a weekend. But hopefully I can also go up there as often as I can, probably around next year. Next year, though, with plans, though, that is what we're going to talk further about in the future. So I got something new here, right here. This is what I bought in Orlando. I wasn't sure if I remember, I wasn't sure if I remember showing this in a vlog, but I actually bought, actually, I don't think I did. I actually bought this Grave Digger side panel in Orlando, Florida at World Finals 21. Well, it's not the complete side panel. So this is the left side of the back of the side panel. This is the fourth anniversary Grave Digger scheme, as you see the stack name. So you only see a little bit, like just about half of the name. You don't really get a whole lot, but you get plenty, but you know that this is Grave Digger. So right here on the, this is the basically like a licorice sticker. Don't forget, forgot what kind of sticker it is, but that's the sticker. The rest of this is just flat out paint, you know, hand painted. And uh, there's some holes like, you know, right there. Um, and these scratches right here, I did that. There was still leftover of a sticker that was scuffed off. I had to get as much off as I, I possibly could. I did ruin the paint a little bit, but you know, you don't really make it out so much. You see, like, best about half of the MonsterJam.com, you got the complete USH Hot Rod Association logo. Uh, SINs, lettering, graphics, I believe that is. And uh, you have a little bit of, like, I think that's uh, paint from, an, uh, from a dirt up school or, yeah, that's dirt up school. I was about to think it's a crush car, but no, that's, like, from some sort of dirt obstacle. And it basically has all the drivers in there. So there is Dennis Anderson. I believe that's uh, I believe that's Weston, Adam, Brandon Vincent, Christian Anderson, and Tyler Meninga. I think some people also who bought Grave Digger side panel or Grave Digger body parts of any kind would also get Ryan to sign it, but I didn't. Um, basically, just mainly because, like, although I know he probably drives Grave Diggers probably at time to time, he also uh, he just mainly drives Son of a Digger. So yeah, but also. The Jester hood, I got it in a new position. It's basically in the same side, but after I put Grave Digger up, I had to figure out, I had to raise up Jester a little bit more. So I put, uh, so I got some zip, so I cut the string that was hanging it before and I got zip ties and I drilled some holes like there and there to give it a more tight fit. And I also wanted, and I also gave more two holes right there so I can, um, you know, get it to hang right here, well, clutch on right there because this part would just bend out. So I had to like seal that in. So it looks a lot more, it looks, looks awesome. And uh, yeah, got, you know, new home decorations pretty much. So Sarah's on her way. I'm just finishing getting ready. I'm also putting my video together from Foxboro. It was a pretty good show, but yeah. Hopefully, well, Corey, who is my one of my friends, who go, who's um, part of the monster truck industry, well, not technically working, he's still technically a fan. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to attend the show next year if I'm able to, even even if I'm coming cutting back on shows, just like I am right now. Well, not really, but hopefully, um, if I'm able to, hopefully I'll still be able to go to some shows. Mainly though, I just want to stick to like local shows at time to time. But if I'm able to get like get a new car that has been converted into like maybe a camper van or something like that. Then yeah, maybe I'll travel a ton of time. But right now I just like 
Right now, after I get through this year, I just need to focus more on myself. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish get ready. Sarah's on her way. Well, basically almost here. But, so, <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Now, I'm not desperate for like a new car, but, um, but my car is showing signs of now basically dying. Basically, what was going on off camera was that my car has been struggling to crank. Well, it hasn't been happening often lately, which is a good thing, but what was happening, what happened uh, one time is that um, I went to get in my car. I don't remember when it started to happen. I think, uh, actually it was happening while I was door dashing. I was outside uh, one day, well, I was doing a door dash, and um, I get in after shopping for the customer I had a you know I got a red card for that so I get in the car I'm trying to start it neck that's when the next thing I knew it's just struggling to crank I didn't know what was going on I called my dad and then at one point I actually managed to get my car to start and then I left and then um and then I at first I thought things were going fine but then suddenly it's just been happening at time to time I took it to Subaru and then um there was a hose that was loose and then one or two times after that, it was still struggling to start. And then, uh, and then before up time when I was going, before I went up to uh, Gillette Stadium, and when I was doing more door dashes, thankfully it hasn't been happening that often. What I would be, what I would do is that I would press on the brake and then slowly crank it, make sure like the battery gets some power first, and then I start it. And so that's what I've been doing. So I I get a little bit on edge to drive this car now. I mean, I'm trying to ease up, calm down about it, and try to make the best of it while I do. So, while I still have this car, once I get back on my feet, and then uh, get the money that I need to pay a car monthly, I mean, I don't necessarily, I'm not that desperate to move out yet. That's, a, that's unless Tyler manages to make the money he needs uh, from his half, so we can um, probably move in together. But, uh... Yeah, so, but I just need the money to basically just get a new car, just not to pay in full, but just like pay in half. So, yeah, my car is just like basically aging. It is a 2011, so it's like basically 11, is it about 12 years old now? So, and also, I do need to get um, the undershield and the bumper replaced because when I was in Indiana, I hit something in the road when I took my eyes off it I wasn't texting I was just changing like the station on my radio or the stereo yeah stereo and then something in the road unexpectedly took a good chunk out of here and uh, this part right here is bent I don't actually remember if that was caused by something I hit but the bumper will be replaced very soon but um, if I'm able to still start my car without any problems until going forward when I'm able to then hopefully I won't have to be so desperate to get a new one very soon. That is one of my goals for next year, get a new car. Okay, so it's that is bad news, but you know, I'm trying to make the most of it, try not to really get so worked up about my car. But yeah, so now on to the next bit. I do want to show you guys something. I actually bought this uh, hand handheld electric power saw. Um, reason why I bought this, if you guys have been following, I don't know if I said it on the vlog channel or my LEGO Fan 6 channel, but in my video though on LEGO Fan 6, you can see and me talking about how like these stubs on the back of this body were holding up the, well basically the back end of the camera can focus, is it's held up, like it's so big it held, it holds up the back of the body. So... And I also have a couple more bodies I want to pull, uh, put on. So with this power saw, I'll be able to cut them. Um, I just got to be sure to have a free day to do it, though. Well, actually, that's not only that. I need to get a Hans, uh, a vice to um, squeeze and hold the bodies in place as best as possible without causing any damage. So I can be able to cut them off without any struggles or anything. And also, like, this was a pain to put this blade on because I had to like there's one bolt on one side here and one on the other side and I had to hold them in place Ugh, hang on I gotta get this thing back in here yeah there we go 
I had to hold one screw in and I had to, you know, twist it the clockwise uh, with, counterclockwise with these two. It wouldn't budge. It was a pain. But I finally managed to get it loose and I managed to put this blade in place. I also had to be sure, had to reposition it a couple of times because it would twist and it would, even went as far as to chip up a little bit of, um, well, this bottom part right here, uh, the red part right here. So, I finally managed to get it going straight, but now I gotta get my vise and then I'll be able to get to work on it. Just gotta be sure not to bend anything. Or at least what I will have to do is at least not to press so hard on it. But yeah, I'm making progress and I'm doing some handiwork here. Sarah's here now, she's waiting in the car. Uh, she had to do something, but uh, yeah, so she's here and we're about to go to, go to Anthony's barbecue holding up a peace sign. He said, introducing my mom. They both looked happy to be together, flashing big smiles for the camera. The backstory is that he was born in Houston, Texas to missionary parents and was abandoned by his mother when he was just nine years old. And so that's obviously, I think, where a lot of people's brains went. And not only is she not clearing it up, she's doubling down on the words she used, and she doesn't want anyone to come at her for the words that she's using. But she's not going to share what Sutton said. But here's the thing, I mean, the fact that she won't share what she said, makes me feel like it's if it's really bad or it's, it's not that bad. It's a nothing for her. Right. And she can keep using these big words to justify like why she eventually is. Yeah. And uh also if Sutton said something really that bad or was just slurred, they, they would have aired it. Yeah. And also in this moment they would be showing it. Yeah. Maybe they don't know what she's talking about. Right. And Kyle was there and then Crystal keeps dismissing Kyle because she was drunk and so like it is possible like she was drunk because she was in the blitz and margaritas. It is possible that she doesn't remember, but Crystal's just being like really weird, like gatekeeping this whole situation. Yeah, no, she, I, I'm completely not with her. If she would just share what it was, we could uh, deal with it. And, and Sutton knows what she's talking about, though, because they, they said they had a conversation and, and Sutton apologized. No, that's about the, what Same we color. did see. Yeah, whatever it is to back up what she's saying, like, she would share it. Yeah. I also felt like que Garcelle's question to Crystal about that scenario was kind of random and out of nowhere. Like, I don't feel like she was trying to set up Sutton in that moment. I think they were actually we're here like at the party. party. This is Walter, <laughs> Anth Anthony's dog. She's a sweetheart, is he? Yep. He's oh, wait, it's a him. It's a him. Yeah, it's a boy. <laughs> I'm still confusing him for Wendy. He's a Rottweiler. Circle around me, jumped on me one time. So, Pete, how's it going, man? Good. It's a nice day today, you know? My, a nice it's my my first time being at Anthony's house personally. Well, I would have to say it is pretty good standards. It's a good yard. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to come anymore, but at the time I thought I was. I was kind of indecisive, but I was saying I was like, uh, I think I should be able to go. But yeah. like, it's a good thing you came. You know. It's nice that you guys came down. Because there was still so much bouncing, left. I can't really dance. Oh, look at his tongue. For like a week. Yeah, everything. He makes him good. We're inside a uh, inside of the house for the first time. It's a bit. It's a bit of a. If you squeeze in here, here. like a four. There's hot dogs, salads, hot dogs, fried chicken. Uh, out all the. The seeds. The seeds. Oh, what's then, what's wrapped like inside of the bacon? Jalapeno, Jalapeno uh, poppers. Famous, world famous. Well, I mean, I'm not Grandpa a huge, uh, I'm not a huge fan of jalapeno poppers, oh. but I do want to try it. You do have to try it. Good, good feast. Good looking feast, by the way. I believe like the, this chicken is the uh, fried chicken is homemade. <laughs> it's not crunchy. Yeah. Got his diet. It's good though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Usually you know I kind of want a little uh, sour cream with that. Oh yes. <laughs> like it's jalapeno. Like I'm not I'm just not into big spicy things. Yep. Uh, chili cheese dog that we're just that you just put together yourself. Mm. I just ate half of it. <laughs> It's not like the typical chili that you have. Hey, Walter. Walter. Better not eat anything. Guilty boy. Let's go.
He's the king of that. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like his signature. I've never seen anything like this, but it's amazing. It's a signature. You should sell those, right? <laughs> so any any time he gets invited to a party, so he's like he's like my. All right, I'll pay you a pop, right? I'm not sure if I ever had one before. It's good. <clears throat> There's also cheese in here. Yeah, it's got to be cheese. Yeah, I don't know if the wants Really? It almost doesn't even taste like a jalapeno. Not so bad. Not so bad. We're all just about full from the lunch. Yep. Yeah. Lot, cold beer. yeah. <laughs> Lots of great food. We have a uh, aircraft flying in back and forth coming and going. Yeah, there's a little private airport. Yep. There's one plane there. <laughs> so, Aircrafts were a little loud coming and going. Yeah, but yeah, we had a lots of there was lots of food that we had for lunch. It was chili, salads, hot dogs, chicken, all fillers. I decided to come inside, get some air while my stomach is still easing up from all the food that we ate. Um you know, so there was a lot of food that we ate and we're all we were all pretty full. I only drank like about half of a beer before I decided to just pour the rest out in the sink. Uh, besides, I did want to still have some composure to still drive home so I can finish the video from Foxborough and uh, still be able to do work tomorrow. Um, you know, tomorrow and probably for like the whole week, I'm going to have to be really, really, really working. Um, yeah. I'm not really so sure if I'm going to be able to go to Ohio to see the show. Um, I'm also going to have to think about what I'm going to do on July 15th to 16th. Like, uh, like on one of the shows, there's actually one show in Van Berg in the 4-H Center where I went last year. And uh, there's one other show up in Michigan that I also would like to attend. But like, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to pull these off at the same time. I mean, I'm if I'm able to still have my car able to that's drivable if I'm able to still have it working I mean at least I'm gonna be able to keep it up but like at the same time like I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do like how I'm gonna pull it off don't know if I will but yeah so pretty good day so far got a little bit of a tour of the house um, I'll show you a little bit um, I mean I'll show you a little bit not everything but yeah so right here we're here in the living space and uh, TV up there. This living room kind of takes up the whole thing. Oh! Oh! You almost had it. I still got no points, bro. This is actually bottle slam for those of you who don't know. Garbage can you? That's cheating. Garbage top slam. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wendy's. Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, who's a good boy? Good girl. Who's a good girl? We're on the last session for the day. We got cake, chocolate covered pretzels, fudge, watermelons, dessert. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've been excited to eat this part of dessert, which is the chocolate shortcake. Not too pleasant, but I mean not so bad either. Well, party is just about wrapping up now. Anthony is just gonna show off his on his RC card. This is the Rustler VXL 4x4. That's actually one of the cars I'm thinking of getting in the future. But like, uh, but, but this is actually the car that he just wanted. So he just thought of showing me while I'm still here. Oh, I didn't grab the controller. Wendy's already ready. Wendy's already chopping up. No, it's shut, shut, shut. Leave it, Wendy. Leave it. Like Pete's got the whole work set up in the garage. <laughs> oh, under the car, Jesus. Oh, it's right, oh, it's right here. It's right here. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> oh. Oh, body's coming off and it just ran into the brush. I see it. Here, Mark, you want to give it a rip? I'll, I'll, I'll videotape you. Yeah, go ahead. It's recording, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with driving cars like this. Oops. <laughs> oh, it went into the water. That's how you drive a car, unlike Anthony. I did not get this on film. Walter, you're such a bad dog. She just she he just ripped that tire to, apart. You're you're gonna This is the foam on the inside. You're definitely gonna have to repair that truck sometime. Yep, gonna have to get a new tire. Well and a new drive shaft. You well it's because oh it's because I it's more I don't think the drive shaft works. Well like when I was driving it like because well it's very sealed under there but like when I was uh, driving it um, I just felt like uh, it wasn't really getting traction in the front end. Oh, you know what? No. Look, the suspension. Uh, I, I, I see lost, that part. That. I lost the suspension cap. I definitely see that part. No, the drive shafts are not broken. Okay. Well, I There's think something, they... maybe. But yeah, the, the suspension caps, that makes the suspension not work as well. <laughs> oh, it's still on. Well, we're all just about done here for the day. 
Sarah's just about finishing up getting along with the people out there. And, uh, I got to say goodbyes to my cousin. Cousins, you know, etc., etc. If, uh, oh, if I pick a, if I had to pick a favorite, I wanted to say the cake was the best part. Also, um, trying the watermelon, I mean, it's not pleasant, but it's not bad either. But it's been very popular on the social medias, believe it or not. But you just have to look it up for yourself to really believe it. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then they were saying that one of their friends, like, with their, when her, their mom and dad were in, like, a 55 and older community and everyone was driving around golf carts and stuff, that her mom had a blue flag. And... Well, we're back home. I'm now plugging in my phone and uh, I'm gonna try to finish the show that, well, that I filmed in Foxborough and then put it together all at once and then tomorrow before I DoorDash then do the work all day, I'm going to put this vlog together and uh, get the time that I need. So, um, I'll catch back, I'll catch back with you guys later, another time. And uh, th so th in the meantime, thanks for tuning in. Um, thank you guys so much for all the subscribers and the love and support, like I said earlier. Thanks for tuning in this vlog, tuning in to check out this vlog. And uh, I'll catch back with you guys when I possibly can. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Mark Galloway signing out. Oh, and I forgot. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share this vlog, and subscribe for more videos coming your way.